the formidable robot. Don't Fear the Reaper, is the name given to a site-based phenomenon that was most prevalent in the years between 2009 and 2016, in which the Roblox site would completely break and display a series of sometimes cryptic and disturbing messages. The exact cause isn't known, since it has only affected around an estimated 100 users, most of whom are inactive or did not record or capture the event. The phenomenon began at abrupt times, but according to some, had a higher chance of occurring during or shortly after 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Users who have experienced the phenomenon described that when loading a page or attempting to enter a game, they would be met with an error message that presented itself as if it were for site maintenance. A short-lived blog post detailed that it read the lines. Roblox is currently down for upgrades and maintenance. It is heavily advised that to avoid game-breaking bugs, that users viewing this message avoid using the site. As the message did not apply to all users attempting to use the site, the majority of those who received it simply relaunched the browser. Instead of going straight to the profile, it would go immediately to the front page, where users then noticed that they would be automatically logged out or logged into another profile not belonging to them. These profiles were usually completely random, and did not display any particular pattern with the usernames or avatars other than joy dates preceding October 2007. What came as more appalling was the appearance of the front page, which was purely devoid of any games whatsoever with the exception of one at the top, titled Don't Fear the Reaper in all capitals. Users who had open speakers reported that there would be a low humming noise coming from the web page whenever they hovered their cursor towards the oddly implanted game. The game's main page stated that it was created by a user named Payman and had 23 visits, with no likes or dislikes. In tandem with this, the headings of all game sections were replaced with Greek words, translated in English as Lucifer, Mammon, and Asmodeus. When players felt that they had no choice than to check out what they assumed was a sponsored game, they were met with what could only be described as a completely vile experience. A now-deleted post made on Reddit in 2013 describes the game's content. I had no honest clue what the hell I had just found myself in. When I launched into the game, I was met with what sounded like sirens and repeated noises of somebody screaming, though to me it didn't sound like anything someone could make with their voice unless they were being slaughtered mercilessly. My character landed in a spot that resembled a gigantic hole, which led to a corridor that was full of what I guess were carvings which resembled two men fighting one another with swords. My entire screen was blurred and tinted red, but was sharpened to the point where it was giving my eyes a glazed feeling. Every few seconds something incredibly grotesque would appear on my screen but fade out just as soon as it came in. These looked like pictures of mutilated carcasses of both animals and people, and even both. I tried to leave the game, but I was in complete full screen and my computer must have gotten a virus from this, since it would launch right back in if I attempted to forcefully shut it down. I continued walking down with these incredibly horrendous pictures coming up on my screen, and I came upon a carving of a human character immolated on a burning cross. I was locked into first person, and I was teleported to an area where I saw a number of humanoids walking around with their necks snapped back, while I heard a mixture of wailing and chanting that eventually got to the point where my ears rung in pain. After five minutes, my game's momentum deteriorated, and it began moving and twisting into multiple directions to the point where it resembled a screaming face. I don't know how it could do this, but the last thing I heard was, Mortem, in a raspy voice before my client violently exited and left me back on the now normal front page. Don't fear the Reaper phenomenon. As with any site-related incidents, there were of course posts on the forums which detailed experiences, however all of them were either swept away by the algorithm, or others primarily those which gave descriptions of the aforementioned game, being deleted by moderators for malicious content, and those who posted them receiving up to two day bans. If a user attempted to access a page other than profile, they would be met with a squealing noise that was virtually resemblant in nature to the one heard in the game. 
conversely opposed to the descriptions given by most users, around 3 have also reported a second game appearing alongside Don't Fear the Reaper, which had no name, and consisted of roughly the same audio content, but with no distinguishable detail within it. Those who joined it stated that all they saw was a ring of fire that encompassed the client before the game closed. Moreover, two of these three users mentioned that the forums, alongside the profile page, were available to access during the phenomenon. The posts made on the forum pages were described as being entirely in Latin, and constantly saying the words sanguis dies repeatedly to the point where the sentence structure of the language was obsolete. Consequently, the vast majority of the reports mentioned that the phenomenon had declined in severity, following the year 2011, with posts of the incident dated to around or before that time often reporting not only in-game, but psychological effects as well. Those who had entered the game in that time period stated that in the following days or weeks, they repeatedly experienced lesions, migraines, and severe headaches, the latter two of which could be accredited to exposure of the lights and noises of the game. No deaths or physical injuries beyond lesions have been reported, though this notion remains unreliable as a low measure of users who gave accounts means that there is a higher number of those who did not wish to disclose personal details. Beyond all that has been stated, no other information exists as to the effects of the phenomenon on the entire Roblox site. However, the phenomenon itself has been reported as existent in games or websites beyond Roblox, as several posts made on Reddit, 4chan, and the Something Awful forums have all equally mentioned similar events taking place in other areas, though many of which are rumors circulated around those websites' mystery boards. Etymologically, the name of the phenomenon, and of the game, is most likely an allusion to the song Don't Fear the Reaper by the band Blue Oyster Cult, though it remains unknown as to why this song was chosen, as it focuses more on the theme of eternal love rather than death alone. With all of this information presumably assessed by the reader assuming they have read all of it, it is advised that this page be interpreted as a warning. If a user receives the Roblox message that often precedes these events, they are urged to leave the site at all costs, otherwise detrimental effects could occur. As of May 24, 2022, a recording has been found of the phenomenon and its effects when a user joins the game. The following video contains disturbing content, and it is advised to be avoided.